Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, make sure you subscribe. So I'm going to be doing an brilliance tutorial. So guys, I am sick. That's why I have not been uploading. I can't. You can hear my voice. My voice sounds horrible. I look horrible. I feel horrible. I'm really sick. Whatever. So I wanted to at least give you guys a video. I know a lot of you guys have been asking about brilliance. You guys would like a tutorial on the brilliance for beginners. So that is what I'm going to be doing for you guys today. Okay, so this is... This is the Embrilliant software. I was already working on this, so I have some designs already in here. It's just for number applique, so seven with Abe Carter, six with Evelyn, five with Alejandro, four Riker, three Ryan, two Daniel. So you can have multiple uh, windows open for different designs. And in order to do that, you click File, New Page. You see a new one popped up right here, and it is blank. That's how you get to a new screen. Also, something that will help is this button right here is the preference window so it's on 200 200 elismo quattro which means if you see at the bottom approximately eight by eight um and you can just choose different sizing okay so this is the 130 by 180 and i usually rotate it 90 degrees so it will be a five by seven otherwise it is a seven by five so i'll show you what that looks like just lost it Okay, so rotate it 90 degrees, and that's what it does. So this is the 5x7 hoop a lot of people have. Um, if you have a multi-needle, if you have, like, the single needle, like Brother P800, it would be the normal, shh, it would be the normal 130, 180, and you would not rotate it. So this is what the normal 5x7 on a Brother P800 looks like, or PE770 of that nature. So, for my machines, like I said, it is the opposite. So, I will go back and switch it to a rectangle. So, this is a 5 by 7 And you can read it down at the bottom where it says hoop, bottom right-hand corner, hoop 7 by 5 Okay, so, here is a design, Young Wild and 3. This customer wants a name on it. She wants me to add the name Lily. And what I could say, Lily is three. So if you just saw, I just centered it. Let me move it again. The Young Wild three over. So obviously that's not centered. And there is this button right here. I said center design in the hoop. So it'll center it for you to make sure it's nice and even. So she wants the name Lily. So I'm going to move it down so I can fit the name Lily. And this button right here is the A. Create a letter lettering design. So I'm going to click that. And this is the font I want. The fonts are right here where it says font. We just go through it. Um, this is the correct font I need. She wants it to say Lily is the Young Wild 3. So I'm going to go ahead and I can center it and use the up arrow and move it up. But I think the Lily and Is are too far away from each other. So I'm going to select these letters. So to do that, you click on the little dot and command click it and you can move it over i think that is better so now i'm gonna have to recenter it <laughs> and move it up with the up arrows keep moving keep moving keep moving ooh, ooh, keep moving keep moving keep moving this is taking forever okay it's almost there okay so now that it is up lily you could choose i'm gonna change the color so i want lily to be pink and is to be the bluish color so i clicked right here on color then I select the black, and I will change it to pink. Now, yes, this changes both at the same time, but again, like you just selected the two before, click the rectangle, wow, click the green square, and then command, click the other one, fail the other one, and I will click the color again, scroll down to the bluish color. So there it is, Lily is Young Wild and 3. Now, you know this will all fit inside the hoop because, one, it's inside the hoop. But let's say you have the design like this. It will tell you. If you see the red at the bottom right-hand corner, the, the design is not going to fit inside of the hoop. So I will scroll it back up, scroll it back up. So there you go. It is centered. So another design. So this is on Toodles design. And to add a name to this, you would click the A again. And... Pick a font. I'll just pick this font and put the name Madison. 
and hit enter and I will move it right here it's about center and again I want the name to be in pink so I'll click the color and this is a different this is Bernina color it's because of the font whoever designed the font uses Bernina colors I will click preferred and it switches back to my color preference and then I click pink again I want it pink now you can make the stitching thicker or smaller if you like click on a different part of the design it will show you what it looks like stitched out you can see a little better versus if you click that you can't really tell like where the swirls are so you can make the stitching thicker by the comp I think it means composition but you can make it really thick or you can make it very thin just by sliding it so I usually keep mine at a two for almost all my fonts just because I like them to be a little thicker that way it helps to make sure you know it doesn't uh, it, it shows up well on these shirts so that is usually what I put it on so another thing with the fonts is you want BX fonts um, you don't want to have to put drag and drop each letter in one at a time which is what I used to do until I learned about BX fonts so BX fonts you can find them on Etsy and I will type in Embroidery BX fonts. So here's a big digitizer with love. 950 for 50 fonts. These are all BX fonts. So you can purchase this. And literally it's just dragging and dropping them into your uh, your software. That's all you do. That way when you type it out, you don't have to drag and drop each individual letter you just drag and drop the font and it'll be saved into your font list so that is one tip i do have for you guys okay now i'm going to show you guys how to import a design if you buy a font buy one off etsy you would click this button right here merge a stitch file and you would go to your downloads and you would just choose a design now I have saved all my designs by now, but let's see. So I need the .pes because I have a brother machine. And here's the flamingo. It came in. These colors I do not like. So I will go ahead and start switching colors. On this side, you can see the steps in the embroidery design. So first, it's going to do the legs. Then it's going to do... The outline for the body, then the tap down stitch for the body, and then it's going to stitch out the outline. The satin stitching for the body, then the flower, then the inside of the flower dot, the knee, and part of the beak, the rest of the beak, and the little wing feather thing. So that's what this is. Step one, step two, step three, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so let's make the flamingo pink. So in order to make the flamingo pink, you see the fourth step is the outline of the flamingo, which is yellow. So I'm going to click on it, then I'm going to click the yellow color right here. Then I'm going to change it to a, let's go to a deep rose pink color. Okay, and then I want to change the flower to a lime green color. So let's go to a lime green. And so the flower, I would want white. Okay, let's see. And the beak, let's make the end of the beak black. The end of the beak is right here. It is step eight, and I'm going to choose the color. And scroll and find black. Okay, so oh, also the wing. The wing I want pink too. So that's step nine. It says it's red. Let's change it to pink. So there is our flamingo. Now let's say you want to add the number one to it. You'll click that merge stitch file button again, then you will choose the numbers you have. Find the number. You have four inches, and here is the number. You just drag it, up it right next to it. So you just import the design just like you do when when you imported the the flamingo. So now, how to make the outline of the of the number one green? Sorry guys, I keep coughing over here. So again, it's the third step for the green, and I'll click on it and make it lime green. So now you see that it is lime green, number one with the name. So 
on the side, it shows you the flamingo will stitch out first and then the number one. I like to do it the opposite way. My number to stitch out first. So you can just click on it and drag it underneath. And there you go. So now it's going to stitch out the number one first and then the flamingo. And then to add a name, it's just like before, you click the letter A and put in a name. Oh, uh, name, a name. Let's do Addy. And we would pick a font. Like I said, these are all BX fonts. I'll choose Bumblebee. Put it at the bottom. And then to move everything else up, you can drag and select it. Then you can move it up. Okay, and then move the name down a little bit. Then I'll make the name pink. Roman is waking up, so I need to hurry up. That will be Deep Rose. And there we go. We have a complete design, guys. So I hope this video did help you guys out a little bit. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them down below. Um, I can do another video if you have specific questions and address those questions. So, all right, guys. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.